key to this murder machine. Is that cheeky little Cupid who fires the arrow. But wait a minute. That swinging shovel. I wonder if that can be used as a weapon somehow against Mr. Cupid. Man, most of the protagonists of Yakuza don't fuck. <laughs> you go through all the trouble of like, you know, court a hostess, and then like, you just get like a platonic bro hug from them. <laughs> That's just how Kiryu likes it, okay? Hello everyone, I'm Dean. Oh, thank you, Kiryu-san. You saved my life, uh, restored my family's honor, and saved my marriage. You're the best friend a girl could have. That's Donnie. <laughs> He's Dean. <laughs> and there's our AD. Uh, welcome. And let's get Damn. Come. Let's continue playing some more uh, ghosts. Wait, that for... might be too early in the fucking episode to be talking about come. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, now we got to be careful. We have to be careful. Five what? minutes in, we can say all the words we want. <laughs> yeah. But for now, <laughs> <laughs> replace it with random ghost trick gunshot sounds. Right. <laughs> you know what, Sissel? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you shut up. You know what, Sissel? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why's that? You know, because the murder is mechanical. She has a point. I can't manipulate living creatures. But I can manipulate this machine. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago, me turns on the light. That's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. That's when a murder happens. <laughs> it looks like the key to solving this one is understanding this device. Was this even here earlier? Like, we barely got a, a, yeah. a look into the room, but... Yeah, because with that, that... Oh. <laughs> How long has it been oh, since right. I locked this room this. up in darkness? Yeah, we got this. We already read it. We oh, can yeah. just go through it. Yes! Give me that! Give me that lamp! Okay. Well, looks like you're leaving, idiot. Can't do much else. I think, I think you're going into that telephone. Okay. You're gonna use that to get somewhere. Wherever it is that he ends up calling. Yep. Yeah, 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 telephone's not working right now. We kn we know how this do. Yeah. <laughs> what? Cut it out! <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna play or something. How about you, like, let anything actually happen? <laughs> how did you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? I've always liked small, cramped places. Ugh. Whenever I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like crawling in. Oh no, don't take her to Amagara Fold. <laughs> <laughs> the place I feel most at at home is that space between my bed and the wall. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. <laughs> ah, we're birds of a feather. We should get together and talk about it sometime. The, you're, you're talking about it now. <laughs> Alright, so she's gonna pop out. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 now's the telephone time. Whee! Yes. Time is passing. Just like my wife! Your wife's dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, is this the superintendent? I'm so glad! I thought I was all alone. <laughs> no wonder he didn't say anything. Uh, go there, stay here. I think you want to go there. I, you know, it makes sense, because we're going to need to... Yeah, you can you can around. get to the top of the room from upstairs. Yeah. You can't get anywhere from this telephone. Makes sense. Makes sense. He hung up. All right, and yeah, we, we can mess up the kettle and all this fun stuff. It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And those detectives, matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. 
I'm so glad you're voicing this man and not me. <laughs> Even the old shit. man with the dirty blue dub on his head completely ignored me. The things this man says. <laughs> if only somebody would give me a kind word right about now. You want to give him a kind word, Miss Bright as the Sun? Um, let's see. Hang in there. That's all you've got? I'd like to see you do better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... Yeah, boil his butt. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, how'd you know the thing was the kettle and not the other thing? No, it's, it's, the, only, it's the only new thing in the scene. It's fair. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I guess. I wouldn't have fucking remember. Was it not there before? <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I don't think it was. How no. would you even know? Because, if I remember correctly, it's, it's, someone brought it up here, and, because they, they, they... Someone brought it here? Yeah, I think that was, that's what happened. They were talking about... Someone was talking about... Probably tea, the they, super, I had to guess. No? That didn't fucking know. What the fuck? Hmm. This man... What? Why are you making shit up? <laughs> fuck, man, I don't know. <laughs> Lynn ran away. The detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. And then the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles! That's gratitude for you. We were just trying to warn him with the kettle whistle. Would you have preferred getting scalded by the steam? Well, Elise's fate was changed a bit. That's good anyway. Damn, Dean. I can't believe... I can't believe... I can't believe... ...that your researching of the game has made it so that we didn't get to see that man get butt-blasted <laughs> by the steam. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so this... No, for fuck! Right, so this is gonna... There it goes! The murder machine has started! And if the whole thing plays out, that gun on the wall will go off. But before that happens, it's up to me to use my ghost tricks. There must be some way to disrupt this domino effect. You just have to find it. Here goes. Alright, so what can we interact with there? That thing. Toolbox. Hoist. Uh... Open. Wait! Oh no! Wait, was I supposed to do that? Um, I don't know. Was that part of the thing? Oh shit, no, that's gonna kill her. <laughs> I think. Okay, that was not the, the solution. What the heck? You looked up the thing about the kettle, but not what the actual <laughs> solution <up>. was? <laughs> What the heck's up that about? Shut up! <laughs> I'm not... The key to this murder machine. Is that cheeky little Cupid who fires the arrow? But wait a minute. That swinging shovel. I wonder if that can be used as a weapon somehow against Mr. Cupid. Alright, let's rewind. All right, now that we've thrown for content, <laughs> what's the actual solution? Shut up! <laughs> what? I don't know what the actual solution is yet. Hold on. It's so, so she's gonna something turn to do with the shovel, right? So do the shovel. All right, so... Ball... There's got to be the most, like, immediately tense one. Yeah, right? So that guy goes there. I think what I gotta do is move. And then we open this. Fuck! Fuck? Oh! Oh! It's the ball. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay. I see. I have to I have to wait for that ball to get in position 
And then I knock it with the fucking, uh, the, uh... The other ball. The, the, the shovel. Steel. Steel, steel, Hit the ball steel. with the shovel. Hit the shovel with the ball to hit a ball with the shovel. <laughs> so, three... Yeah, wait. Yeah, the timing's not that tight. Don't worry about it. So yeah. Please. No, no timing in this game is that tight. Alright. So, that's gonna fall down. Go, go! Too late. Oh, wait. What? Dang <laughs> it! Hey, that was pretty good just now! Maybe if we were... <laughs> maybe if we were on a putting green. Well, with a swing like that, maybe we could put it to some use here. Good thinking. I just might be able to use this trick somehow. If I could change the path the ball takes. That's great and all, but it looks like we're out of, all out of time this round. Okay, so... Lynn's just gotta watch herself die over yeah. and over again. <laughs> let's, let's, let's rewind this again. What, are, what, is, what, am I, what am I missing here? Do I have to do something with the... the... Is there anything else you can mess with with the okay. uh, ball with the ball on the ceiling fan? Uh, let's see... No. Do you have to... Do you have to be in the ball when it gets launched? Hmm... I just think, what, what, what can we mess with here? Because I see the present, and I see the... Maybe I have to be in the... You know what, that makes sense. I don't know. Like... There's, there's not a whole lot else that you can interact with on this side. Yeah. Like, you can adjust the timing, but that only does so many, so much. Yeah, hold on. Uh... What? What did... What did... What did the Hoi... It, it moves, right? It just moves? Yeah, it just moves. Okay. I don't know if that helps necessarily, but it's... It's something. Yeah, hold on. Maybe I do have to be in the ball. Hold on. I think you're right. So I gotta go... Yeah, come on. That's Wait, that's too, too soon? Yeah, that's nah, too soon. Fucking... <laughs> shit. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta wait and then... It, it has a moment where it kind of teeters on the edge. I'm thinking, like, when it's doing that, activate okay. the toolbox and then move to it. Alright. Ball. Hit the light switch. Alright. Yeah. Move to the edge. And that. Yeah. Might as well no. move the hoist just in case. Yeah, right. You might need it on the right side for whatever reason. Here, so we for that to be to to right? To have it. That too too soon. Dang, dang. <laughs> dang it! No. <laughs> uh, maybe. Okay. No, I, I think you're right. I, I gotta get to the ball. Uh, no, I think did, you're. Did it not give you the option? Because it didn't look like you had. Yeah, to, yeah you even if you had the reflexes of a god, it didn't. Look yeah, like it, gonna let you. yeah. It didn't let me. It didn't let me activate the the, the, the ghost mode. Well, they're saying something about the trajectory of the ball. I don't know how that would. Be how hard. to alter? Okay. Yeah, because it doesn't like it. Not like the shovel launches up; it just kind of goes flat and bunts. Yeah. No. If it was like a case of like it popped up kind of high, I could see that. But hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I, I'm gonna see if I can mess with anything else in this area. I can't get to that one. No. Oh, no, get down. Oh. Toy cake. Balanced toy. You I can mean, examine it. Oh, oh, the, oh! Just open the trap door. I okay. Guess. <laughs> all right. Okay, there we go. All right, all right. Now we're in business. All right. All right. So, now wait. No, fuck you're right. What was the one thing <laughs> I just said? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We got it now. We got it. We got this. We're really throwing for content I'm this not time. Throwing for content. I swear to God. Look, look. I, I I'm, I'm. It's a compliment, man. You, <laughs> you're making it real convincing this time. I'm, I'm, 
<laughs> like to explode. I'm... <laughs> what? Alright, uh, this... Look, don't worry, I won't tell the audience. <laughs> God dang. Alright. Toolbox. Now we go, okay. And then, yeah, wait. Do it. <laughs> I love the slow motion. Oh, is that what's supposed to happen? What just happened? It looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased again. I, uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit, anyway. Yeah. What could this room be all about? Hmm, I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end. Those were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have no recollection of what they are. But that's no surprise. The party poppers, the gun going off, it seems familiar somehow. Hmm. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, shall we go back now? Back to your new present? Birthday pun! <laughs> <laughs> How's that thing go, Dean? You're an expert. It's like... Uh... Like, the future is unknown, the past is behind us, but now is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Sounds about right. That sounds about right! <laughs> I don't know what this What's is from. from? I would say it's from TNG, but that's not what happened. That's not what exactly what, what Picard says. He say something like he that? He says something like that. Okay. Okay. Sissel, are you there? Lynn is talking to me? If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just some weird girl who talks to herself. She's so proud of it. <laughs> well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether you talk to yourself or not. No, no, no let's go talk to her. She wants to talk. She does. You're, oh, that's you're... Then literally that's why we need the hoist. <laughs> what? Just so we can get closer to her. What? No. Oh, no. no you, never mind. you could have touched her right at the beginning. I, I okay. You are here. I knew it. I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. You you invited us. But wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. Hey, did I say anything? There, that tone! It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. It's a weird delivery. I keep you know you know what it is? Hmm. I think this man's like color scheme. I keep friggin' channeling Johnny Young Bosch into this guy. <laughs> sure. Like, <laughs> like nine... a Bash? Like you're thinking of Bash? Yeah, like like 2000s Bosch. <laughs> That's why my delivery's like all over the place, too. <laughs> <sighs> so, did you have something particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some, in some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case? All by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the word world. So why are you looking into it, then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case, some big mystery. I firmly believe that. Oh, I'm remembering things, dude. 
So any, are you, are you getting your memory back like Sissel? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I finally have my memory back. I not at liberty to tell you about the case. That's that's so that's so perfect for this game, <laughs> right? <laughs> like as as we're going through it, we're we're getting our own memories back. <laughs> we're starting to remember the plot of the game. Sure. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. We, we opened up the mystery of, what's this game about again? <laughs> sure. It's is, complicated. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Very much. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her a few things. All right, so I bought the one shot. You have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid... My memory just isn't clear on that part. She doesn't want to tell you she shot you. <laughs> Not clear. I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot. Maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry. I wish I could be of more help. But I know I wasn't, I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're the suspect, though. I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? I wonder what info I had for her. Oh, oh shit. No. By the, oh, sorry. What the fuck? I almost started, I keep doing that. I'm sorry. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camila? How do you know about her? There was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camila all right? She's fine, thanks to her loyal little friend, Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my. What in the world's going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camila and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them. The people who are calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night get possibly any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains, it pours. This is the time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. So I had some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday. And you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly. Tonight, at the junkyard. And you fell for it? Even given how fishy it sounds? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? Hmm. I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy. I guess I understand. That's all the things. <laughs> Dot.
Oh shit, she's going in the hole. <laughs> so what are you gonna do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camila. Oh yeah, what was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Sissel? What are you gonna do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You're my only lead. If you leave... Hmm... I just realized, you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? That's not a bad idea. You're on. Well, can I ask you to do a favor for me first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. Prison? That's the place I was calling from from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule? For a prisoner? Yes. The prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. What's D99? I don't know. D's nuts! <laughs> Got, Got him! <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> I... <laughs> Leave. <laughs> okay, you're on. Okay, see you later. See you. But don't die again if you can help it. If I do, you'll help her. <laughs> <laughs> There she goes! The 99th time I've saved your ass tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, look at him dance. <laughs> there he goes, right? It looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating. And she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So if we've started up a strange relationship of cooperation. I thought we weren't calling it cooperation. <laughs> Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. I'd better get to the prison. Oh, you know what that means, Dean. What? Time to go see your favorite guy. <laughs> Who? What? That guy. That guy that was on that achievement just now. Oh, okay. Obtain a new song, obtain a new illustration, and let's save it. All right. Save, Save data. here, and shall we could pick up next time? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. D99, huh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that of all people? The motive, everything, all a complete mystery. 